I'm here at Internet of Things World 2017 with Grania Murphy, uh, IoT Marketing Manager, Analog Devices. Grania, uh, can you start by telling us a little bit about your organisation and what that role involves? Yeah, hi, how are you? Um, we're delighted to be here. I'm the IoT Marketing Manager within Analog Devices. My role is actually to pull together kind of all the components, the you know, vertical markets and our great technology at Analog Devices and tell everyone about it. So, you know, we're very quiet about how good our technology is. So it's really to sort of show everyone where it can go. We're at the battlefront of IoT. We're creating great data. Um, which then can be transported into the cloud. So we would say that while IoT is all about cloud, you've got to have good data to make it happen. And Analog Devices has spoken on a wide range of uh, topics throughout this event. What points have you covered and what recommendations have you made to the, your various audiences? Okay, so... Um, yeah, we've, we've been basically focused on the industrial strains here. Um, and we've been telling people about the implementations that we've actually done. So again, the theme of moving hype into reality is something that resonates really well. Um, we've tried to share the kind of the insights and the challenges that we have. We have a great example at Analog Devices because we actually have our own factories. So we've been able to implement our technology within those factories, like accelerometers, like our dust mesh networks. And we've been able to sort of tell people about how that's gone for us and, and I suppose the output that it's given. So, you know, an IoT project is only as good as the benefit that it gives to an end customer. So we've been able to share some of those insights. Hopefully it's helped. And uh, you re uh, Analog Devices recently acquired Linear Technology Corporation. Um, what's kind of been the outcome of this merger? What new things can you do now? Yeah, oh, we've got some great new technology. It's very exciting. It complements, you know, we're a high precision, reliable type semiconductor company and Linear Tech complemented us in that. They also brought a power portfolio to our, you know, to our offerings, which is very exciting. Um, and we're showing several examples of that here on the stand today. But they also bring a, you know, smart mesh network. So, you know, it's a wireless network. It's um, more than 99.9% .9 reliable and it's low powered um, network that can be used in harsh conditions. So things like that, where you can actually supplement the, com the complementary offerings that we bring um, is very exciting exciting and um, we're only two months into it so you know watch this space there's a lot more to go in that area we're really excited to be talking about linear tech as well as part of our ADI family fantastic and um, you've also recently published a report offering the semiconductors perspective on the industry yes could you tell us a little bit about that report and what recommendations you yeah made? yeah so so analog devices is um, you know our, our bread and butter of our industry is in the industrial you know publicly we talk about how we're more than 40 percent in the industrial market so that actual report talked about industry 4.0 or the industrial IOT as it's more you know commonly known in in you know North America mm. Um, and again, what we talked about was, you know, how factories are actually re-establishing themselves to IoT. We call them brown site and green site. So you've got your new factories that are being built that can implement the latest technology, but you've got a huge problem with, you know, factories, existing factories that want to upscale themselves, make themselves more economic, want to, uh, you know, improve profitability. And, um, and, and, you know, our customers are facing those challenges. So we talk about that in, in the report. And what do you think the status of um, IoT adoption is like among your customers? Are they coming to you with specific problems now or are you still kind of having to educate them? I would say that we're really lucky because we see at an early stage how IoT is going. So, you know, they buy the, you know, the components, the first stage of the technology I mentioned before that we're actually at the front edge of the war, we're on the battle line. And so we see the trends and we see what people are trying to implement. It's very much a, a, a sort of co-working relationship. They come to us with a problem, but you often find that they can't fill the pieces together to actually create a full IoT system. And that's where our, our you know, partnership ecosystem comes in to help them do that. Um, so we've got you know, both proof concepts, we've got MVPs, minimal viable products, and we've also got real projects that are operating with a number of customers and, and, and partners. And it's actually pulling that network together, and that's part of my job. Well, thank you, Grania. Thank you very much. Event. Thank you.